Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog and happy birthday if today's your birthday. And welcome to Ocean City, New Jersey. I am just so excited and happy to be here on our annual family vacation and to be bringing you guys along. I actually meant to start the vlog yesterday, um, but I forgot. And now today is an unfortunate day because your girl's having a bit of an allergic reaction. Let's see if I face the window if you can see. Um, yeah, I, I think you can. All this redness here, yep, mm -hmm. down my neck. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Basically, I forgot to bring any zit cream with me, which is dumb because every time I fly on a plane, I get a zit, like it's just bound to happen every time. So I had like this guy, oh my God, look at my neck. <laughs> I had this guy here and one pop up here. So I just grabbed my mom's zit cream that she had packed with her and when I squeezed it a lot came out. So I like dabbed it onto these spots, but then I was like, I'll just kind of put it all over because it's always, I don't know, I just always do that with zit cream. But I did not double check the ingredients and I am allergic to benzyl peroxide. And it, yeah, uh, this is the result. As you can see all here, over here, um, it's very hot and very itchy. The crazy part is, is like I will react to like 2.5% benzoyl peroxide in a product. And when I was, I woke up at like 6 a.m. and noticed this was happening on my face. And so I was Googling the ingredients of that zit cream to see if that's what it was. And it was maximum strength 10% benzoyl peroxide in this product. I was like, no. <laughs> And it would have been one thing if I had just put it here and here and it probably would have been like a little red and itchy in those areas But of course stupid me puts it all over. So I'm a little I'm a little itchy today <laughs> But you know what we're starting the vlog anyway My mom is running to the store right now for me to get some cooling cream because it's very hot and also um, Some Benadryl to you know, just hopefully help resolve this kind of quickly <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Anyway, we are here in Ocean City. Unfortunately, Connor could not join us this year because he had other work obligations, um, but we're here with the fam and it's going to be a great time. I'm also working all week going up to, you know, the Unicorn Academy launch. We have a lot going on, so I just could not take time off for this trip, but you know, I'm sneaking away whenever I can, working kind of weird hours. Like yesterday, I wor worked from like nine to 12 and then came back and worked from like four to eight. So we're just, you know, fitting in work wherever we can while still getting to enjoy some time with my family. And today will be no different, although it looks very foggy and gray out right now, which is fine because I'm again going to be working this morning. I have calls at 12 and one. So earliest I can really get to the beach is 2 p.m. anyway. Oh my God, my face. So whatever it kind of works out. So it's currently 9.30. I was feeling really tired this morning. I was having trouble getting out of bed. So I think I'm gonna make myself a coffee and then start on some work that I have this morning. Okay, mom is back. She got me Benadryl cream. So we've just lathered the face in that and hopefully it starts to help. Right now it's feeling very tingly. So we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> Good morning. Is it. that your little one? Uh, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, we were like, that's like, an thing. Yeah. Have you guys stacked on a very precarious place? Actually, really quickly, I'm just gonna go wet my beauty blender. Hi. So. It is now 11.30. I finished one of the really big projects that I had for this week, which I'm pretty excited about, or for the start of this week. And now I have a call in about 20 minutes where I need to try to um, do something about this. <laughs> I really wouldn't, I, if it were up to me, I would not put any makeup on my skin today and just really let it chill, but not this call, but the next one I have is with some pretty high up execs in the company. Ooh, that uh, snail musin. <laughs> I gotta look presentable. I gotta try to cover up this situation here. Sorry, this lighting, what's going on? Window is like ruining it. Maybe that will be a little better. So what am I gonna do? I feel like my neck, I kind of just have to, I kind of just have to deal with it. I don't know what else to really do. I'm gonna put it like a little bit, maybe around the edges there to help it like blend naturally into my skin maybe. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, that makeup did not feel great on the rash. So that's really unfortunate. It's probably irritating it more. As soon as I'm done with my calls, I'm gonna take this makeup off. Obviously it's not gonna look perfect, but it's a Zoom call, so hopefully it will not be too noticeable. Okay. I actually feel like that looks fairly okay. 
we'll see when I get like, cause I'm not gonna be wearing a shirt that this, that's this high collared. So that could <laughs> impact things a little bit. That's okay. We're working with what we got here, you guys. There's, there's nothing much I can do. I didn't bring any kind of real foundation with me or anything, so. It is what it is. Get some bronzer on. My neck honestly is the worst part because there's such a clear line. But what are you gonna do? I'm just so mad at myself for not reading the freaking bottle. It says it right on there. That's maximum strength benzoyl peroxide. So yeah, I have two calls here and then depending on what happens on those calls, I may have to work more this afternoon. But if I can, I'd like to get out of the house um, we'll see what the weather's like. It's still kind of cloudy out, so I'm not sure if it's really going to be worth it to go down to the beach, but at least go out for like a walk and maybe do a little bit of boardwalk shopping or something. I'm going to go get changed right now, and then we're going to get on a quick just Zoom call just with myself so that we can see what this is looking like on camera. <laughs> this is my little makeshift desk set up here so that it looks kind of like I'm at a desk. Also, I'm still in my pajama shorts. Don't tell. Let's really quickly hop on a Zoom meeting with myself. Honestly, I think this is okay. I think this is all right. I mean, right, like you can see a little something here, but it just kind of looks like it might be a shadow. And my face looks normal. So I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> so I have this call from 12 to 12.30 and then another call from 1 to 1.30. So I will probably just check in with you guys when I'm finished with all of my calls, unless I decide to make lunch in between those. I'll let you know. It is about two o'clock and I have finished all of my calls for the day and luckily they went well, so I didn't get loaded up with a million other things to do because of the calls, which is great. <laughs> and um, now me and mom are just gonna kind of go out, walk around, do a little like shopping, browsing because it's not a very nice beach day out today. So we're just kind of getting out of the house, but we decided to stop into this really, really good place. Oh, thank you so much. It's called Reddy's Coffee Shop and Restaurant. We've never been here before and we've been going to Ocean City for like more than 20 years. I think. Yeah. Great little adorable. find. It is so cute in here. It really is like kind of stepping back in time. Kind of vibes, cash only. Like, I'm really excited. So we got a couple little yummy things to snack on and then we're gonna do a little window shopping. Alrighty, we got our lunch. I got a little turkey sandwich here, which is looking delicious. We got some onion rings to share. Mom already ate at home, so we're just kind of sharing those. And then we got a chocolate milkshake. So old fashioned coming in this, that way you could split. So it's a beautiful one. I'm gonna check out the shops at, or shops at the Asbury. I think this is new this year since we've last been here. So let's see what's in here. This little robe is so cute. Little she sell she she shirt <laughs> seashell print. <laughs> I don't think these are for me. <laughs> I think better, but still not me. We have a lot of candles in here. They smell really good. Mm, bourbon vanilla. I bet this is gonna be my favorite. This is delicious. Mmm, sparkling rosé, also very delicious. So many cute, unique things in here, I'm loving it. What'd you find? Oh, an eagle section. <laughs> Full Philly overalls. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my God. Only like seven more Sundays until kickoff, so. Oh, that's cute. We're in Philly's world. Yeah, yes we are, I love it. So many cute little hats. B&B, classic Ocean City. Gotta check it out every year. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. this is the place. <laughs> yes, so good. Upside down car. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of cute. Is orange too bold? <laughs> but I kind of like it. Actually, you guys, so crazy. I'm pretty sure in this department store was the very first place that I ever met a subscriber, ever. Ever, ever. It was so wild. She was so cute, so sweet. I didn't even notice her, but I was with a friend and she was like, yeah, I noticed that this person was following us around for a little while. I didn't even notice. And when she stopped me, I was dead that like I could not believe that someone actually was recognizing me from my YouTube channel. Gotta love Ocean City for that. <laughs> well it's the second walk that we've gone on since being here 
and the second walk that we've been rained out of. Rained out. <laughs> it's raining right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's fairly light, but we are heading back to the house now before the skies really open up. It is a couple hours later. I obviously came home and showered. I just honestly, one, my hair needed to be washed, but two, I wanted to give my skin a chance to kind of just steam in there, which felt so good. I feel like it came out looking better definitely i feel like we have an improvement from this morning but still definitely there so we're keeping a lot of hydration on it and i'm using this benadryl gel that my mom bought and we're just i'm gonna just keep her going keep her hydrated today and hopefully it's better and hopefully these get better because that benzoyl peroxide was for nothing like at least make my zits go away <laughs> we are starting dinner now and it is greek night i thought i would bring you out here with us and on the garlic Got some hummus, a little Greek salad. She's looking so good. And we're gonna make a little charcuterie board now. The completed board. She's looking so good. Yum. Okay, dinner complete. Courtesy of Emily. Excellent work. <laughs> Everything is looking so good. Say. Colin! He isn't on the road. Have you ever seen a mouse building a house? Frank! Did you ever see a dog floating on a log? Karen! Did you ever see a frog looking like a hog? Oh! oh. <laughs> Colin! Why did I fall down? Stupid! Did you ever see a cat dancing with rat? Charlie! <laughs> Did you ever see a turtle jump jumping in a hurdle? Yes, I am, Jess. Have oh. you ever seen a meep driving a jeep? Ah. Did you ever see a leech down on the beach? Hey. Did you ever see a duck that didn't give a fuck? <laughs> Did you ever see a pig dancing a jig? Down by the bay. G-rated one. There we go. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so we have a really fun activity set up for tonight with the family um, that Pop does not know about yet. But basically, my cousin Anna took a bunch of projector slides from Pop's house, I think when he moved out of it. And then she found this projector. She like basically goes, my cousin loves to go look through abandoned buildings. <laughs> it's kind of her hobby. And um, she found a projector and like fixed it, like got it to work. And so we are going to look at a bunch of photos that my grandparents took and that they have from their wedding and their honeymoon and all kinds of stuff. We looked at a few of them yesterday while we were testing out the projector to make sure it would work and they're amazing. So I am beyond excited for this. It's gonna be such a good night. We have a little sheet set up here where the projector can project and it's gonna be awesome. But I love this one with Graham's hand on her chest like that. It's so pretty. <laughs> child in the middle. That one's oh. not random church people. No, it is not. This one is, I love this one. That's a great one. Look at Graham's smile. I love it. Who's the guy? Yeah, so who's this guy? I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Now we get into the honeymoon. That's the Poconos. Oh, I love that photo of her. That's such a good one. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I like your sweater. Ears, Dad. This is the second time he's in the photo. Ears is in the photo. Yeah, whose ears? Dolores brought me that sweater back from Switzerland. Mom was always good. 
or a red coat. Yeah, no, oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Again, the guy with the ears. Now yeah, mom's yeah. not even in the picture. <laughs> you still don't know who that guy is, Pop? I'm not sure. We have a lot of photos with him. <laughs> it's the it third a, photo he's been in. There was a couple. <laughs> on your honeymoon. Oh. I just, that smile is just too hard to say no to. I gotta take a photo of it. Mm. Oh, yes, mom. Yes, that was cute. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you remember that? Look at Matt's oh, yeah. <laughs> Mom and dad. <laughs> that that is is forever. Adorable. She <laughs> remember me by. I had started teaching. So oh, I love this one. It's so, so good. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, mine is pretty close to yours. Yes. There's my mother. There's my father. Yes. That's one of the few pictures I have of my father. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day, and of course, survivor noises in the background because it wouldn't be a Samarelli house if there wasn't survivor noises in the background. <laughs> my mom has been binging old season, but it is currently 11:20. I have just been working from bed all morning because it is a super rainy day out, which is a bummer because today and Friday were the two days that I had like the most free time to go to the beach. And it seems like I am going to be SOL on both of those days. <laughs> so a real bummer, but we're gonna see what happens. Either way, it seems like a great day to sit and finish my book. I am reading um, Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home, which is the third book in the Magnolia Park series. And um, I think I only have like an hour and a half left in the book. So I think we're just gonna sit and put her down. Lunch is served by my mother. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. <laughs> Requested a tomato sandwich because favorite summer meal. I'm gonna put some Doritos in there. It's gonna be perfect. Well, you guys, it is 3 p.m. now. I've not finished my book yet. I've been distracted by doing other things. <laughs> I hopped on a quick call. I forget if I already told you that, but I did that. And then I was actually playing some cards with Pop. My camera was nowhere to be found, so sorry I didn't record it. But as I said, it is 3 p.m. and we have gotten a little touch of sun out there, which we're super excited about. Gotta take advantage. So we're putting our suits on and going down to the beach for a couple of hours. We are at the beach. It is about 5 p.m. now and it has been a gorgeous day in the end. Yeah. I'm so glad that we ended up coming down here. Yeah, me too. It's been so good and I just finished my book and it had an insane ending and I'm so upset because there's one more book out in this series but it's this same book but from a different character's point of view. So I don't get to find out what happens next and I don't know when the next one is coming out. I'm gonna have to Google it. Hopefully soon, but oh my gosh, crazy ending. Absolutely nuts. Some weird guy like carrying a bird around. Oh my God, what's he doing to it? I don't know. It seems like a very strange situation. I know, he is really weird. Please, stays away. Anyway, we'll probably hang here for like, what do you think, another like 30? I'm down to hang for a while. Keep relaxing here on the beach. We've arrived back from the beach. It was so lovely. I definitely got a good amount of sun on me, which honestly will be nice because I don't think I'll get to go to the beach tomorrow, maybe for a little bit in the morning, but I have a kind of longer work day. Like I just have some calls scheduled later in the day. Let's take a look actually. Yeah, I have a one, a 2.30 and a three. It's gonna be a little bit busy tomorrow afternoon, but maybe I can just plot and get up and on the beach super early. So we shall see what the weather permits as well. We have a really nice chill evening I think ahead for us. I don't know if you guys can hear but the other surefire. Hi Pop Pop. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the other surefire sound other than Survivor that you can expect to hear in the house. Harry Potter. We've been doing a big Harry Potter marathon so um, we are on to number six six now, I believe. We're just keeping them rolling, so love that. But yeah, it should be fairly chill. My Uncle Rob is also here now, um, and him and my dad always kill the music on their guitars. They love playing music together, and so I expect a lot of music tonight and Harry Potter and some delicious food and just chill times overall. I, of course, poured myself a shower wine to bring in with me. I've not been drinking much beer this trip, so we've been doing shower wines, a nice crisp white wine after the beach when you're taking a nice cool shower, like, you know, that little in-between warm place that just feels really nice on your skin after you've been on the beach for a couple hours. Pair that with some white wine, trust me. Shower drinks are one of my favorite vacation traditions. Not that I would really call it a tradition, but I think you guys know what I mean. I just mean I would never do it at home regularly, but on vacation, every day after coming home from the beach, I'm having a shower wine or beer, whatever I'm drinking. Good 
Good morning, everyone. It is the next day and we are back on the beach nice and early this morning because I have actually a really big, busy work day ahead. So I don't have that much time to spend here. So I want to make sure I got at least two hours here on the beach. Pretty much all I'll be able to get, unfortunately, for me. But that is okay. We are going to make it work. It is a gorgeous hot day outside already. So I'm going to soak it up as much as I can while I can, because tomorrow I think it's gonna rain. So it's really my last beach day here. Very upsetting. It has not been the best beach week, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm making it work, it's fine. We have arrived for our family activity of the night, which is our annual booze cruise. We're all very excited, as per usual. And I think we're leaving in like 10 minutes. Oh, you are you? Okay, Matthew. thanks, a souvenir. So late over, man. Enjoy your cruise. Warm up, warm up. Me and the Cimarelli boys. Yeah, same thing. Oh, God, yeah. I'm not there. <laughs> you want a cone? He wants a cone, but not with chocolate. <laughs> Sorry. We're with the Cimarelli boys with a Z. That's what we think they're fans. Boys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, play the air guitar, Dad. Let's go. No, it's a Z. Oh, okay, Boys. fine. Whatever. You guys can do whatever you want with your branding. <laughs> Who am I to say? <laughs> yeah, wait. Do that one again. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and we've gone out to get ice cream. <laughs> We're at Coors. Of course, I got chocolate ice cream, rainbow sprinkles. The only ice cream I will ever order in my entire life right Thank here. You. It won't be delicious. It is our last full day here in Ocean City. I cannot believe how fast this week went. So nuts. I have just been working this morning, busting my butt to try to get some stuff done. Still gonna have a little bit more to do this afternoon, but we are taking a break to go out to lunch right now. We are going to go to this restaurant that we've kind of like gone past before, but I don't think we've ever tried. It is called the Dockside Kitchen. They have like lobster rolls and shrimp po' boys and stuff like that, which is gonna be Super, super yummy. I'm very excited. I'm currently just layering some moisturizing products on my skin because my skin is still really, really dry from that allergic reaction that I had. <laughs> that was not fun. It is definitely on the mend. I really, really think this Benadryl cream made all the difference for me. I have to remember that. Thank God I travel with so many moisturizing products since my skin is always dry. <laughs> it's usually not peely, which is the state that it's currently in, or was yesterday. It's not really peeling anymore today thankfully it is another rainy day though here in ocean city it has not been the best weather this week for beaching it which is kind of a bummer but that's okay we're just making it work right i'll take what i can get still managed to get a little bit of color on my skin not quite as much as i usually leave ocean city with but I'll take what i can get yet again <laughs> it's good i'm not gonna put any makeup on right now i'm gonna have to when i get back because i have to record some quick little Instagram stories for a brand deal. What about my hair? It's a little poofy from how humid and rainy it is out. Are we just gonna rock it? I think what I'm gonna do is pull it back with a little clip. <sighs> Let's go to lunch. pretty much the entire day working in the end. <laughs> it is now 5.30, but I did, I got a lot done, which is nice. Turns out working what is essentially two full-time jobs while working full-time is difficult um, and doing it on vacation while trying to actually enjoy some time off is nearly impossible. <laughs> so noted, it's fine though. Um, it ended up being still a very chill day here. It was honestly raining all day. So, um, well, not all day, but, um, it, we, it, we had showers throughout the day, so it was fine. It's not like it was a beach day anyway. But a lot of the family has headed out now because they had flights different places or had work and et cetera, et cetera. So it's just me and my parents and Pop tonight before we go home tomorrow. And we are gonna go out for a little dinner. I forget what the name of this place is, but it is some place where my pop up and grandma used to go out to eat together. So that should be kind of fun and cute and nostalgic for him, so. That's all good. And then I imagine a fairly chill evening in here since it's just us. Some wine, some reading, some relaxing, and hopefully better lighting than what this clip has been because it has changed about a billion times. So sorry about that. I'll show you what I'm wearing too. It's very 
very basic, but I have been loving these pants. I've been wearing them pretty much every day. Actually, funny enough, I'm pretty sure this is like full head to toe Abercrombie. Tank is Abercrombie. Apparently it's fairly casual, so we're just sticking with this little gray tank. And then these are the black linen pants that I got from Abercrombie and I love them so much. I feel like I need them in more colors for sure. And then I think I'm just gonna put my Converse on, keeping the makeup very light as per usual and we're gonna head out in about five minutes, I think. Cheers, fam. Oh no, see, I'm spilling too. Cheers. <laughs> that is a big gin and tonic there, mama. <laughs> Stiff. <laughs> I got an extra dirty Tito's martini. Pop got a bourbon Manhattan, looking delicious. And we both got bonus, bonus drinks. A little bit extra. <laughs> well, my martini got the best of me and I have not taken vlog clips of our food, but Appies were great and just got my entree. I got a little clam chowder here. I'm so, so full from lunch, so I did not order anything too big. Unlike Mr. Chicken Parm here. <laughs> It's just Giant. a tiny little just piece of chicken. Small, very, just, just the size of my head. About that big. <laughs> <laughs> just got our dessert and we are having a pecan pie, which is looking <laughs> delicious. Very excited. This is my favorite kind of pie and also kind of the only kind of pie that I'm interested in, in general. Oh, I guess Jack Daniels pecan pie. You guys get the vibe. <laughs> guys, look at the street cat that we found and loved now. Look at this baby. I'm missing my kitty cats. Yeah, Dindy and Molly. Okay, we have to, oh, wait, look, I got a tumble. It wants a belly rub. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I was going to say, do you know this cat? Hi, Gray. There's another one He's under so cute. They live here. Oh, I love that. I'm like, <gasps> oh, under the ago. chin. So we yes. have grandma, mom, uh, the kittens. Oh, that's so that's sweet. So you know, we take them in every year. Oh, that's so great. Okay, they Gray. So we we got to go. Them, right? They all get their shots. And they're all Good. Good. Good morning, friends. It is our final morning here in Ocean City and we are getting packed up to leave. I just made myself a little mini coffee. It's delicious, just what I needed. And I am attempting to repack my suitcase, which is a mission when you have packed as tightly as I have. So <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I think I can do it though. <laughs> First, I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear today, which is probably just like tank top and shorts. Well friends, I'm just popping in to end the vlog. We are back at my parents' apartment now. I'm going to go see some friends this afternoon, but I'm just gonna leave the camera here. Although we have a cute little kitty. Dindy, you wanna be on the floor quickly? You wanna end it with me? Such a sweet girl. Love this little cat so freaking much. Thank you guys for watching our annual Ocean City vlog though. I'm going to link last year's down below if you're interested slash, I don't, <laughs> Ginge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> I don't know how many years there are before that, but I will hunt down any that there are and post them down below if you want the Ocean City fun to continue. This is it for this year and I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be a Toronto vlog. So stay tuned. Say bye, Dindy.